Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on the Big Online channel. In today's video, I'll be teaching you how to install the Vortex mod manager and install a Skyrim Special Edition mod with it. Now, I have made a video like this before, um, but it wasn't very clear, it was very slow and sluggish, and I made quite a few mistakes in the video. Now, uh, before anyone points out in the comments, mind my lisp, don't mind my lisp, you know I have it, it's fucking annoying, okay, I get it. Right, so. Go to the link in the description to get the Vortex Mod Manager, click download the latest version now. Scroll down to get the uh, Vortex Mod Manager, make sure you click manual download. If you don't have the .NET, uh, .NET 6.0 framework installed, make sure you do have it installed. Um, yeah, if you've had your computer for a while you should already have it installed because you've probably been asked to install this, this is a very common requirement for a lot of apps. Anyway, so if you don't have it installed make sure you do. After that click download. And click slow download unless you are paying for premium. Wait 5 seconds and the setup file should start downloading. Now I already have the setup file installed so I don't need to do this, I'll click cancel. Then I'll go over to the Vortex mod manager setup file. You launch it. You click yes. And now this could take a tiny bit of time so I'm gonna stop recording and I will see you on the stone. Alright, okay, so my mod manager has just finished installing, as you can see it's down here on my taskbar. If you click on it, it's a button. Now, before you do anything, the first, first thing you want to do is you want to select your game. You want to go down to uh, games. I already have mine selected, so I'll quickly deselect this. Uh, stop managing. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. Right, then look for your game. In my case, it is Skyrim Special Edition. Now, this will apply to a lot of other games, especially games like Fallout which have a very similar, um, which run on the same engine. But any other game, it should be very similar, um, but it might be slightly different in some places. Anyway, so, find Skyrim Special Edition, this will work for the original Skyrim as well, or even Skyrim VR, but I'm covering, covering specifically Skyrim Special Edition in this video. So select the Skyrim Special Edition, click Manage. It will give you a pop-up saying switching default profile. And now, it will tell you that uh, the Skyrim script extender is not stored, but you don't need to worry about that. Now, what you want to do is you want to go find the mod that you want to install. By the way, if anything comes up in the corner here, just look fix now and it should be fixed. If you have any other issues, comment it down below and I will help you. So, next thing you want to do is you want to go over to the Nexus mod, the Nexus website where you can then find a mod they want to install. In my case it is Ultimate Start. Yep, there you go. Now the reason I'm picking this mod is because it is very obvious that the mod is enabled whenever you start a new game. Now you can pick whatever mod you want, it doesn't matter, but I'm going to be p picking specifically this mod because it is very obvious that it works when you uh, click new game. Now if you click new game and it just puts you into the normal uh, intro cutscene, that means that the, you have not installed the mod correctly and it's not working. So from here, you don't, you don't want to click manual download, you want to click mod manager download. Click on it, and click slow download. Now, it says it will download at 1.5 megabyte. It will download it specifically 1.5 megabyte in here. Uh, you won't get this error, but I do because I've already installed it. Just click continue, if you do have it for some reason. Anyway, so if you go to downloads, it should show that it's downloading. Missing masters, I have not this issue before. Okay, so you need to. If it says missing masters, it means that it depends on a different mod. So it will give you a .esp file. Before that's .esp, it should give you a name. Now, either copy and paste that name into the Nexus mods thing. In my case, it is the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch, which is a very good. It's a very common mod, but of course, it depends on. So I'm gonna search up the unofficial. Good files and click on mod manager download. From here, click on slow download. Give it five seconds and it should start downloading. Uh, you won't get this error, but I do. Because I've just tried to do this tutorial in the past and it didn't work out very good. Anyway, so that will install. And when that is installed, um, I know I'll see when it's installed. Fuck, making videos is hard!
when the unofficial Skyrim Special Edition patch is installed, um, if you still get the error, just click check again and it should work. If not, you've installed the incorrect mod and you will have to find the correct mod and install that. So, now that that's done, if you go to the mods, you should see that both of these are enabled and installed. If you go to the plugins, which are the actual ESP files, ESP files are like data files for the uh, Skyrim engine. So, if these are both enabled, what you want to do now is you want to start the game, and I will see you when it's started. Actually, wait, 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 Alan. What you want to do is you don't want to start it from Steam, you don't want to start it from an EXE file, you want to start it specifically from the Nexus Mod Manager. This ensures that the mods are enabled. If you launch it from Steam, it may not be, it may not um, launch with mods, it may, it may launch the vanilla version rather than the modded version. So, you want to click on the play button up here, and I'll see you when I'm there. So, when you are boosted up with Skyrim Special Edition, um, specifically for my mod, you will have to start a new game to see that it works. Um, say you've installed like a white run mod, then drop it uh, white run, or go to say where you're already in white run. Um, same for any other city, or if you have like a map mod, just put any save and go to the map and it should work. Um, but in my case, I'm going to a new game, like yes. And I'm running the game on SSD, so yeah, I can go that. Already in the game. As you can see, this is not the default starting cutscene. Yes, it's all done. There you go. And to accept. There you go. Now, we are in a modded session. As you can see, this is um, the alternate start mod. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.